hello guys welcome once again in this video we are going to learn how can we update data in our database because in previous video we have learned how to insert data in our database and we have done something like this for that purpose I will import a button sorry I'll take a button from here this button and drag it out here and uh, I'll name it as edit or update so there it is so I'll name it as update and uh, sorry that was name basically and I have to change its text actually so there there it is the text of the button so I will change it to the update and there it is the text has successfully changed to update so now let's add the image so for that purpose just find that image and click on that I have already imported that OK icon so I will press OK and now I will change the position because it's in the middle so I'll give it a right position right so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna click on that button twice so it will open up something like this for me all right so now I have to write a simple code in here for connection and I'll write a query so the thing is that I can uh, use my previous code of connection from my previous button in which I have inserted data into my database so just simply copy paste uh, that code into the insert button once again I will tell you this insert button double click on that and if you are following my previous video then you can do that if you are not then I will recommend you to watch my previous videos so just copy paste this code from string to the catch block that we have created in the previous video so I will just copy paste that okay control C and now I'll go there and the update button I'm gonna double click that update button okay so let's see in this position so that you don't get confused with them so double click on update button and it will take you right there so in here just simply copy paste that code okay so now the whole code will remain the same that as I have told you in my previous video so just I'm gonna change the query here the query will be changed other things will remain the same okay so from here I will change that insert into and uh, this will be removed And these values will also be removed from this bracket sign also okay so after deleting this parenthesis I am going to update my query like this by writing here update database database name and dot your table name in my case that is employees and in my case database name is database okay so after that what I am going to do my first text box here is representing the EID so I'm gonna see what exactly my column name is is here and that is E underscore ID so I am going to write here inside this update there before this E I D is equal to and before that I am going to write a word that will be set okay set E I D is equal to this text box and that is this one okay so that text box name is here let me show you the name of this text box is text box 1 okay so there you go this is this 
e id is equal to this dot text box one dot text so it is gonna do it is gonna take that value to it is and set it equal to this e id all right so the next thing is after this comma and this is this dot text box two and this text box two is this all right so I'm gonna go to the name and there you go this is the text box all right text box two so go into your database and see this is e underscore name so you will come to your code and then you will write here e underscore name is equal to this all right so see what next you want to update and that is your username basically all right so this is e underscore username so you are going to write here after this comma e underscore user name remember that sql is not case sensitive so if you write e bigger or smaller that doesn't make any difference so now this is text box 3 and i have showed showed you so many times this is e username and there you go the name is text box 3 all right I hope the concept is clear and for that e password 4 you can see the text box is 4 so now come to come to this and after this comma you are required to write here e underscore password like this so this query will do update database dot employees that that table of employees that is specified here and it will set the values of eid whatever the user will give in this text box and it will set the name whatever user will give in this text box and same like the username and the password it is going to update all these four things whatever the user is gonna write inside but i have to specify that the update the user is updating a thing which is already present in my database so for that purpose i'll just simply after this I will write here where just in order to specify and I am taking the EID as a reference for that purpose whatever user is writing it has to uh, you know pass this it has to you know prove that if the ID exists in database or not if the ID is the right one then it will update if the ID is not then it will not update all right so where e underscore id is equal to so i am just going to copy paste that text box e id is equal to this just copy paste this because uh, it is going to match this text box value so whatever user will write here it will match into the database if it, this id exists or not if it exists it will change all these credentials if it does not exist it will not change any of it okay so now uh, the whole thing is clear and you just need to change this message box and values are successfully updated okay so now if i run this you can see if uh, it is asking me uh, for password if it will ask me shortly because my system is taking a bit longer to run this program so now the program is successfully run so i am going to give here my credentials john123 that is my password one of my password in my database so if i log in log in successful press ok so eid so now let's come to our database there what you see you see this uh, let's say i want to update uh, this one jake to all right so i'll give here uh, an id to so after that i write here the name as uh, let's say mark okay and uh, let's say any other name peter and username is peter and the password is pet okay so there you just need to see this the id is 2 so 
ID2 is you know verifying that this is the ID2 and the next thing is that it is going to change all of this as I have given here so when I will click update it is giving me an error that uh, at line you have an error in your SQL syntax check the manual that corresponds okay so it is giving me some kind of error here at the where thing so I am just going to edit that there you go go into the form update and uh, there is an error in query and that is I am unable to find this so after finding this I will get back to you so I have find out the error the error in my query was somewhere there and that was basically e password and somehow I think the equal sign was removed so I need to put that equal sign up here so now my code is ready to run so that was a little mistake uh, otherwise all the stuff was right pretty right though okay so now press start and run this program and uh, I'll put my credentials to log in and uh, when I log in I'll see, see this login successful press ok and uh, now come to database and let's say I want to update this let's say 3 Julie and uh, I'll write here EID as 3 and the name should be Peter username will be Peter and password let's say PET so if now I hit update it is telling me that values are successfully updated so congratulations so it now press ok so now look at this three Julie now if I refresh my database you will see that it is updated to the Peter now let's update another one let's say the two one and let's say this name becomes James username becomes James and password becomes GAN and if I update this it is telling me the values are successfully updated so now if I refresh my database you can see that James it has become James so thanks for watching and please do comment subscribe and my, rate my channel and uh, until next video bye